We are headed on a very special trip. We are headed down to Arizona, going to do a couple races, and we are going to have a little team camp with the Divas team. We knew that we were going to be driving all day, and so we decided to hop on the treadmill and get in a good quality run. So we did about 90 minutes, did a little workout, nothing too like big or crazy. And now it's 9 a.m. and we are driving. Well, we're off to a great start. We made it five minutes into our drive and we got stuck at the train. <laughs> no. It could be five minutes or it could be like an hour. We were all proud of ourselves for actually like getting up and getting out the door by nine. What we're workout. screwed. We made it. Yay! Welcome to Arizona. We are skiing, looking for Jim Wamsley. He's around here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Oh, is that him? No, sorry, that's a tree. He's around here somewhere. I will find you, Jim. Someone named Eli was here. Okay, we're leaving Flagstaff and now we're headed down towards the warm of Phoenix, but we're gonna do a quick stop in Sedona for a run. Run on trails. Woo! <laughs> Okay, we're down here in Arizona. Before we left, we said this was going to be a special trip. Not only are we down here to train and race, but it's also our first time with our new team. And so it's making memories all together and just seeing how we vibe with everybody. And so it's been a special time do all three of those things and enjoy some gorgeous weather. It looks like it's gonna rain. It does look like it's gonna rain now, but it's not raining currently, so that's what matters. You Debbie Downer. <laughs> How you feeling? I don't know. I'm still like half asleep. I think the hardest part is there's no sun. <laughs> you don't need the sun to run on the road. I saw Dom Scott's thing and it was like she wasn't sure if this was an early morning half marathon or a night marathon. And to be fair. Kinda looks like nighttime. Yeah. When was the last time you ran a half marathon on the road? 
I've never run a half marathon on the road. <laughs> I've ran half marathons at CU as a long run. I never ran a half marathon. Like, I never raced a half marathon. I told myself it's only an hour of pain because the first 15 minutes you don't know what's happening. Fancy seeing you here. Hey. <laughs> Do we want to run? I was gonna say. Okay, I'm just gonna give Eli my. There was literally no elites when I walked in, and they all started arriving. Right when you showed up. Yeah. Did the bus get delayed, or they? I don't know, or just no one. They just no one showed up. up. And running. I just drove back over to the finish line to catch them for their finish. They're about 30, almost 40 minutes in and right around seven miles. So they're hitting like five, 30 mile pace right now. So it looks like they're doing pretty good. And, uh, we'll see if we can catch them for the finish. Shout them out when you see them crossing. Yeah. Who's here to cheer on this <laughs> Black Canyon 100k cheer on our teammates. Heels in the wind. Do you concur? I concur. Your camera's cooler than mine. This morning with Solid some nice ice. 30 degrees. <laughs> Okay, we made it home. Uh, after my race finished up, we hopped in the car and drove to Albuquerque. Um, and if I learned one thing from this week, do not hop in the car after running a 60K. You don't feel good. You don't feel good exiting the car. <laughs> <laughs> I would say this trip was a huge success. We got to meet our teammates. We got to actually run on trails. But then most importantly, we also like had really good races. I was happy with my race at Mesa half, like running a 73, it just shows that things are working in training. And then for you, like getting a win and a course record, that again is a huge step in the right direction and shows that we're doing the correct things. Yeah, training's working. We're trying to become a little bit more regular with these. Um, so if you like the content, uh, subscribe and we'll be back next week.